자, 어, 여러분 이제 마지막 발표자만을 남겨놓고 있고요. 정말 오래 기다렸어요. 정말 오래 기다렸기 때문에 그 어느 발표자보다 조금 더 뜨거운 박수로 기다리느라 고생 많았, 많았노라 마음을 한번 만져주시기 부탁드리도록 하겠습니다. 자, 소개해드리겠습니다. All right, our last presenter, but not the least, maybe the best, um, Biana from the Department of Electrical Engineering with the title Flash Boom, Imaging Through Listening to Sound Induced by Light. 자, 전정학과 비아나입니다. 뜨거운 박수 부탁드리겠습니다. Hello, everybody. Nice to see you. Let's not look at me. Let's look at your hands. Can you see them? Can you see the hundreds of blood vessels under your skin? No, right? I have a special theory to that. I think blood vessels are actually really shy because they know a lot of bad information about you. Think about it. Blood vessels know if the king of England might get a stroke or a heart attack, if he might lose an arm or if he has cancer. When I would know all that, I would also be really shy and I would hide. But for us, it would be really good when we could see the blood vessels under the skin, right? So today, let's try to detect the blood vessels. First of all, let us understand why we can't see the blood vessels. To see an object clearly, light has to hit against the object and go straight into our eye. Actually, light can hit against the blood vessel, but on its way back, it always is changing its direction. So we can just see the scattered light here, but not the blood vessel. Could we try something else? Can we hear the blood vessels under our skin? Let me introduce my assistant for today. This is Mouse. <laughs> Mouse, why? Because first, she's really, really cute. And secondly, she has a large red blood vessel here. Now I have a green laser here. With that, I'm going over Mouse's red blood vessel. Let's look what happens. Flash, 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 boom! Wow, what we can just see is that the red blood cells suddenly expanded. Why is that? Because they absorbed the green laser light, got hot, and when something gets hot, it expands. Okay, the good thing is now that we saw that only the blood, red blood, blood, red blood cells expanded, but not the surrounding tissue. Let's do it again. Flash, 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 boom. What else we can expect now is, through this sudden expansion, we have waves that propagate up through the surface. And these waves are pressure waves, ultrasound waves, which are much longer than light. So we can detect them clearly on the surface. In my laboratory now, we shoot with laser light and detect the ultrasound waves. We call that photoacoustic microscopy. And so we can see all the blood vessels under the skin, and <clears throat> through that, we can get their secrets. Thank you. 네, 아, 너무 잘 들었습니다. 어, 시간이 조금 네, 뭐 오버되긴 했는데 어, 뭐 크게 네, 문제가 되지는 않을 것 같습니다. 자, 질문을 저희가 좀 받도록 하겠고요. 네, 우리 어, 이종식 교수님 먼저 좀 부탁드리겠습니다. Hi, um, could you please Say your name again for me, first of all, and those who are not sure about, you know, how to pronounce your name correctly. My name is Bjarne. Bjarne? Bjarne? Bjarne. 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 Right. Sorry about that. Bjarne. Okay. Right. Um, so thank you so much for your wonderful talk. Um, you know, as a historian of science, actually, I'm quite used to, like, the distinction between, like, optics and, you know, um, sonic sciences, so acoustic science and visual science, these things. So to me, like, you know, these two things are not um, necessarily connected, but your research is, you know, based on this combination of, you know, sound and light, all those things. So that actually, you know, um, to me, that was one of the most inter interesting things that, you know, I got your, from your presentation. Um, and, Okay, so like simple question, uh, be, 
Sorry about that. Um, Bian, Biane? Yeah. Biana, okay. Biana, Biana. So, simple question. Um, could you tell us more about you know, um, your plans in terms of how you are going to use this research um, to make money, <laughs> just simply? So, it's about you know, the kind of industrial or clinical uh, implications of your research. I'm, I'm pretty much sure you have some ideas about that. Well, okay. Actually, in the clinics at the moment, the microscopes or like the imaging detection that you have, when you think of it, the resolution is quite bad. Like, when we want to detect something or think of when you go to the ultrasound and like the doctor is telling you something based on this ultrasound image, you think like, huh? Like, how did he saw that? Our resolution is much better, so when we can bring our <coughs> systems to the hospitals, actually the doctors will be fascinated by how high resolution they will receive, and they can make much more detailed diagnosis based on that. 네, 자 원하시는 답변이 되는지 모르겠어요. 우리 유지현 교수님, 네 부탁드리겠습니다. It was quite interesting and fascinating uh, technology, I guess. Um, I try to understand how it works, <laughs> but so based on your explanation, what I understood is that once you acti photo activate, and then you collect the responding sound from from the underneath tissue, and if that is correct, I guess the the responding sound maybe depend on uh, uh, the 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 strengths or the duration of the sound might be affected by various factors, the biological factors. Um, so let's go into the blood vessel you mentioned. So in our body, we have different kinds of blood vessels, the uh, different thickness, and the composition might be also different. And also the, the flow inside might affect the sound you collect fr from the photo activation. So I just wonder how, what, like, just what is the main obstacle, obstacle that you develop this technology when it applied to the actual bio, bio sample? Uh, can you uh, explain obstacle with other words? Uh, it's, I just wonder what is the main obstacle, the, the problem you, are gonna, you expect when you develop this technology? Ah, okay. Actually, we have the same problem as normal light micro microscopy also. Like, I explained it quite easily, like that our laser light is going into the tissue or into the skin, but also like the light gets scattered, like moves in a lot of different directions. So it is really hard to get enough light to one point so that we can get the signal back. So Actually, at like one millimeter depth, it is for us no problem to make beautiful images. But as deeper as we go, as harder it is for us to get a high signal. So actually, like the imaging depth is the biggest problem for us and how to bring enough light to the deep. Then make it apply to like capillary. 네, 잘 들었습니다. 우리 작가님, 네, 끝으로 말씀 부탁드리겠습니다. 네, 아, 저는 통역 부탁드립니다. 아, 네, 알겠습니다. 일단 저도 이제 궁금했던 부분이 아, 이거 의학적으로 가능하지 않을까? 혹은 어, 인간은 쥐와 다른데 어떻게 이제 차이가 있을 수 있을까? 어떻게 적용할 수 있을까? 이런 두 가지 부분이 궁금했는데 마침 앞에서 해 주셔 갖고 저는 좀 다른 질문을 해야 될것 같아요. 그래서 저의 질문은 두 가지인데 하나는 이게 굉장히 그 설비가 필요해 보이거든요. 그래서 이걸 환경을 통제하고 특수한 설비 전용 설비를 쓰고 그런 게 필요할 것 같은데 사실 이것이 현실화 되려면 혹은 상용화 되려면 이 비용 측면에서는 어떻게 될지 그런 이제 앞으로 어떤 식으로 생각하고 계신지 so most of our questions were already asked by the previous judges and she has two questions. The first is, um, your research seems to require a lot of equipment and controlled environment. So let's say you have to carry this research so that it can be actually used in um, real life situations like a hospital. 
And what do you think will be the necessary cost for that? Actually, the lasers are quite expensive. So it is hard to estimate now, but I think at the moment, because there's no mass production, maybe one system might cost around $100,000. 네, 그러면 두 번째 질문인데요. 이게 사실 뇌 연구에도 굉장히 활용할 수 있지 않을까라는 생각이 있는데 생각이 드는데 그 뇌혈관 연구라든가 그런 데 적용이 될수 있지 않을까. 근데 이것이 가능한지 그리고 만약에 적용할 수 있다면 그 과제는 무엇인지 앞으로의 네, 그렇게 궁금합니다. Okay. To her it seems that your research can also be applied to analyzing the blood vessels inside the brain. So she is curious if it is applicable. And she's asking if it is, what are the potential difficulties you might face when analyzing veins inside the brain compared to just those below the skin? The biggest problem with imaging our brain is that we have a really big bone between that. And light cannot penetrate through bone. So, for example, for animal studies, it is possible to do the brain imaging and you can get a lot of good information about it, but you have to remove the bone. So um, there are other methods like how you can get in the direction of the brain when you use like other openings, openings like in the human. But like for really brain imaging in the human, it is quite hard because of this. Yeah. 자 이렇게 해서 여섯 명의 모든 발표자의 발표를 모두 들어봤습니다. 수고인으로 박수 한번 해주시기 바라겠습니다. 네 고맙습니다.